All right, so we're using isometric dot paper, and just to review, I use the pencil tool or line tool to make a cube, and now the students are doing the same thing. So if you were successful in making one, please try and make another one close to it, up in the top left corner of the, the page, so we have room for other more sophisticated things. This is working with 3D shapes. Now, if I want to add a cube to the side of this, I can do so by adding another line from here to here. Go up, back across, and finish it off like that. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Try and add a cube to the back. It should only take you one, two, three, four, five lines to add a cube to the back. And while we're waiting, there's an inherent problem right now about trying to add to the top without an eraser. <laughs> and we will uh, demonstrate that in a moment. So instead of trying to add to the top of this, we can add to the bottom and do a line down, diagonal, diagonal, up, and then down to the front. And now we've made a structure that has three cubes and one of the students has generously pointed out the eraser I was going to get to that so thank you but we've got the three cubes here and I can add one more to the bottom and we can make a an upside down L shape please try and do this now with our isometric dot paper all right we just took a short break to See how people are doing, it's going well. Uh, we could also add to this back right side here by adding one, two, which disappears behind the other one, three, four lines. So now we've got 3D shape that has one, two, three, four, five blocks as part of it. As I was saying, if you want to erase, you could erase on top. Oh, see, it's too big an eraser. Uh, I think we'll hold the erasing for now. Um, but what you could do in another section is do your two blocks, as we've done there. Fill in the necessary lines to the front. Do this quickly so it's not perfect, but I think it's good for demonstration purposes. And then on top of this, now, you can add by going up to there, up to here, here, there, and then connect those, connect those, connect the last ones, and then just to show that it is made of cubes, not rectangular prisms, go like that. Try that now on your paper, please. Start recording again. All right, so now that we've done it on the isometric paper, like this, we're going to try and translate these three-dimensional shapes into a top, side, and front view on the back of your paper, which has dots more traditionally arranged side by side. So you might want to label at some point the top, then the front and side views of the shape. Once you've done that, you can try and decide which is the top, front, and side, and translate those into a two-dimensional shape on here. So for example, let's look at this shape. Now we're going to consider this these faces to be the front. If you think about you're looking from this sort of point here in that direction, the only thing you can see are one, two, three, four faces in that sort of shape. So we'll call that the front, and we'll do it in the front here. And I'll draw it. We've got the one side here. Those are the two blocks at the top. And then 
hopefully you're following along in your piece of paper, we have the blocks that go down. And somehow my blocks changed size as they went, but that's the point. That is the front view. One, two on top, and then two coming down. So three up and one over. Let's see if that's right. Yep, the front is three up, one over. Try and do that now. And then if you look at this from the top, and this is where I wish I had the program SketchUp. I will try and access that because it's very valuable for this. If you're looking from the top, so bird's eye view, you would see one block here, one block here. You wouldn't see these, but you would see, sorry, I added that. You would see this one at the back. So the top view would look like this. See the two blocks, oops, two blocks at the top. And then the one at the bottom, but we can see it if we're looking, oops, from the top. Try that again. By the way, SketchUp is a free program that can be downloaded at home and uh, is a lot of fun to use and great for math. I will show you soon. So that is the top view, one, two, and then the one the back. If I could turn this around like a Canon SketchUp, you would see that. And finally, we will do the side view. And it doesn't matter what side you do. I'm going to do this side because we've got these faces facing us. And all you can see is the three and the one, so that L shape. And that looks like this. We've got a person at the door here, so I'm going to press. All right, so we'll continue doing this and ask your child if they have any overdue books. They have been asked several times here and have been given a blue form and now a pink form or peach, orange. I can't tell the lights are off so the kids can see the screen. There we go. And that is the side view. I hope everyone's followed along. And that was clear about how to go from isometric dot paper, which helps to draw the 3D object, to the regular dot paper that helps us to draw a two-dimensional version of the top, front, and side. So ask yourself, What's the 